No, not that. No. Oh, okay. <laughs> okay. In all the tours that are offered by Berkshire Belle Epoque, I shall endeavor to answer three questions at each stop. What was it prior to 1880? What was it in the Gilded Age? And what became of it when the remnant of the Gilded Age was withering and dying, but life in Lennox was continuing to thrive? As I researched each story, I realized that in four different places, I would be telling the story of a cult. At first looking like an amazing success story, then being exposed and unraveling usually within a very short period of time. Now the first is called the Oxford Group, and it's um, mentioned uh, as the Red Line Inn, owned in 1936 by Republican Representative Alan Towner Treadway. The Oxford Group held a massive assembly in Stockbridge in 1936. 10,000 people were said to have participated. The event was covered by Time magazine. According to this source, Heaton Treadway, son of Alan Towner, met Dr. Frank Nathan Daniel Buckman's Oxford Group members in Florida and well aware of how those earnest evangelicals stalked the upper classes in their native, native habit hoot. Heaton dis, um, uh, discoursed on the advantages of the Berkshires. The National Assembly of the Buckmanites as the local Yankees referred to them was div was divided as to whether they were they practiced free love or were socialists. The catchphrase of the group was to be God control. According to Time, one day last week a private railway car rolled into the siding and out popped Clara Bryant Ford self-effacing wife of Henry Ford. Mrs. Ford quickly attended um, meetings, lunched with Dr. Buckman, and departed two days later, ending rumors that her husband was to arrive in the company of Harvey Firestone, whose family have been active in the grouper's work. The red lining was full of groupers. And there was a parade with marchers carrying the flags of the 48 states and the 18 nations, including Germany's swastika. This has long uh, been buried in local history, seeing as the swastika had not been paraded through any other city in the United States up until that time. Many locals would rather make reference to Norman Rockwell's beloved painting called Main Street. Stockbridge. Good Housekeeping Magazine. I'm going to pause just for a second. 